uh, tell you all about fascinating creatures and amazing landscapes. I know that you're really going to enjoy uh, these sets of lectures. Would you please put your hands together and welcome our new guest lecturer. Let's make him welcome, George Schrenko. I don't know where they get some of these headdresses. <laughs> But you know, the, the odd thing is, in, uh, among our creatures, our human beings, it's the females who wear all the fancy headdresses and get all jazzed up. But in the world of the wild creatures, it's usually the male. And it's a male thing. Size of the rack. So it's largely the... It's largely the males that are really concerned about their appearance. You know what this is a result of? <laughs> when you don't have a lot of sexual selection happening and the females aren't too picky, the guys start doing odd things. <laughs> Hot tubbing. <laughs> so the lower the selection pressure, the shallower the gene pool. <laughs> which, which brings us to the guy with his lawn chair. <laughs> and look at the face on this fellow here. Now, if there's, if there is not a girl involved in this somewhere, I'm going to be very surprised. Okay, I want to take you now very quickly to New Guinea. So isn't this a, the opposite of what we saw with the two guys in the hot tub? <laughs> this is when you have extreme sexual selection. And the guy has to be on the exact top behavior, top form, colors, calls, everything. But you know, I, when I, I look at these, I wonder what's the evolutionary advantage? Because, of course, the showy male the one who gets his act together is going to attract the female. But on the other hand, they're also going to attract predators. You can't go around looking like these without being noticeable in the jungle. So what's the evolutionary advantage? And it all comes down to this one notion. Males are expendable. <laughs> It doesn't matter if the odd male gets taken away by a predator, there's always more where they came from. The main thing is that there are enough of them around to pass on their genes. <laughs>